Hello everyone, so this is my uh, new video with a uh, video lesson about addition of vectors, specifically about polygon method. So I will be your instructor, uh, instructor for this video. I'm Mr. Mark Anthony. So let us talk about the polygon method. So how do we do the polygon method? Let's say we have three vectors, vectors A, B, and C. Vector A has a specific magnitude or length and the direction is upward or towards the north direction and then our b is a shorter one therefore it has less magnitude and the direction is towards east or east of north or north of east while our vector c is the longest among the vectors so that means it has the greatest value of magnitude with the direction towards the south of east or east of south. Let's say we're going to do the addition of our vectors A plus B plus C, which is also equal to B plus C plus A, and it is also equal to C plus A plus B. So let us now do the polygon method, the addition of vectors. Let's say we do first the A plus B plus C. So we make sure that there will be no change in magnitude and direction for each of the vector. So this is our A. It has a tail and head. The arrow head is its point end point. And then on the arrow head of vector A, we begin our second vector B. So we, we just simply connect the two vectors. And then lastly, we connect the third vector, that is vector C. So as you can see, all you have to do is to simply close the figure to create a polygon. So from the initial point, that is the tail of vector A, we form a ray going to the arrowhead of vector C. And so, this will be now our what we call resultant vector, that is A plus B plus C. All we have to do is to simply measure the length of our resultant vector or that is the magnitude of our resultant vector. Same process with the parallelogram method. We can get the direction of our resultant vector by getting the angle formed by the resultant vector with respect to the horizontal axis or what we call the reference angle to give us the direction of our resultant vector. Let's have now B plus C plus A. So we have our vector B, same magnitude and same direction, and then we connect the vector C, and lastly, the vector A. So again, let's just connect the initial point we're in, that is the tail of B, vector B, to the end point of vector A. And it will be just the same as what we got from A plus B plus C. The mag magnitude should be the same and the direction that we will be able to get should also be the same as what we got from the previous example. And so this is our resultant vector. We call this B plus C plus A. And lastly, we have the C plus A plus B. So this is our vector C, we connect vector A, and lastly, we have the vector B. So if we connect the initial point of our vector C, and that is the end point of our vector C, to the end point or arrowhead of vector B, we form our resultant vector. The same as the resultant vector of our two previous examples. This is now our resultant vector, we call this C plus A plus B. And again, the direction should still be the same as what we get from the two previous examples. Let us now do the subtraction of vector. Subtraction of vector is simply adding a negative of a vector. Let's say we have two vectors, vectors A and B. Vector A with a specific length or magnitude with a direction along the first quadrant or north of east or east of north, while our vector B 
is longer, therefore it has greater value of magnitude with the direction towards the north direction. So we're going to do the negative of vector. So let's say we're going to subtract A with B or A minus B. A minus B is the same as A plus negative B, which means we're going to add vector A with the negative vector of B. Since we already have our vector B that is upward, we just create another vector with the same length or magnitude, but the direction should be opposite of vector B. And this vector now will be called negative B. So all we have to do now is to add vector A with negative B. So this is our vector A, and then we connect the negative B vector, and then we connect the initial point of vector A with the end point or the arrowhead of negative B. And this will be now our resultant vector. We call this A minus B. And to get the direction, we get the reference angle or the acute angle formed by our resultant vector and the x axis. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something new from this video lesson. See you next time.